All right, welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we have a pepper I'm very excited about. I'm usually excited, unless it's a scary pepper. But this one is a Sugar Rush Red. No surprise, beautiful red color. So if you haven't, I'll put a link up above but you should check out the Sugar Rush Stripey that I tried. Super gorgeous pepper, amazing flavor. This is the same family. So I think this one, if I remember correctly from the review, this one and the peach were crossed to create the stripey one. Sure, mm -hmm. Yeah, if I'm incorrect, I'm sure somebody will comment down below. <laughs> Maybe even, uh, Jim Morrow himself, who again, if you are interested in any of these peppers, you can purchase from. The link to his company is in the description as well as a link to his YouTube channel, so definitely check those out. It's not terrible hot, not by my standards, so it should be about 100,000 to 150,000 uh, Scoville heat units. So again, not terrible. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I don't know about the rest of you, but it feels like things are extra crazy right now with the news, with life. Um, I found out just in the past days, like several acquaintances have passed away. It's our rainy season. Work is super complicated. Um, yeah, it's a lot. So I'm glad that I was able to take time today to review this pepper with you. If I seem a little harried, rushed, I don't know, whatever, it's probably because I feel like kind of on edge at all times at the moment. And because, yeah, uh, as soon as this is done, I have to go run errands and then I have to do more work because that's just life, right? But I did want to make time to review these. I'm still trying to get through the pods. I'm hoping to get through them all before one of them goes bad. They still look good. Um, but yeah, this is the Sugar Rush Red, and don't know a whole lot about it other than what I've said. Um, it is technically an ahi pepper, which I don't think I realized when I ate the stripey, but it's gonna be super sweet, hence the name. And should have some good heat. Yeah, there you can see it. There's a little bit of corking on the tip there. That's but it looks inside. Pretty sweet, pun intended. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and that life isn't feeling too crazy intense for you. Of course, this time of year, it usually gets a little bit wilder. After Halloween, people start thinking about Thanksgiving, thinking about winter holidays like Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all of those. Um, so there's a lot going on for folks and sometimes the holidays can feel really negative for us for whatever reason. Either we're worried about money or maybe that was a bad time of the year when we were growing up or maybe we lost a loved one during the holidays. So if you're feeling that way, just know that it's okay. You're not alone. Just take care of yourself. Take naps, drink water. So yeah, take care of yourselves. That's what I have to say about that. And if you can't for whatever reason, it is okay to ask for help. Even if you think that no one wants to listen, I guarantee you that there are people out there that care about you. I see it all the time on social media. I have shared my woes with people that were just acquaintances. I've had people share their difficulties with me and I'm always happy to listen. All right, with that, let's try our pepper.
Mm -hmm. My lips are a bit chapped, but yeah. I really already feel a little bit of tingle there. Great crunch. Good amount of sweet sweetness, like I mentioned, that we should expect. Anytime you get to the top of the pepper where typically there's more placenta, it really kicks in there. I mean, when you're building up the capsaicin as you eat more, but ooh, and the last bite always packs a punch. <laughs> yeah, that, <clears throat> that is excellent. Something to look forward to, perhaps, if it works out, we'll see. Isabeau and I wanna make a spicy pie. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I found ghost peppers at our store, just at the grocery store. They were selling reapers too, but of course I already have reapers. I'm not gonna bake something for the family with reapers, that's mean. But I've been wanting to make a habanero peach pie for a long time. I thought I made this up in my head, but there are recipes for it, other people have done it. So I saw the ghost peppers and peaches aren't really in season. So Isabeau and I are going to try and make a ghost pepper apple pie, which sounds pretty tasty. Uh, she already made the pie dough, but we have some baked goods we need to eat before I wanna bake a fresh pie. So we'll see. At any rate, fingers crossed, if we feel up to it, we'll film it. We're definitely making the pie, but that might be a nice varying treat still have peppers to do hoping to maybe do some hot sauce reviews this week and hoping we'll see uh if it works out i mailed something to molly schuyler we might be doing a collaboration soon as well so if i confirm that i will schedule it give you guys notice but yeah with that i'm katie prettyman the world's okayest competitive eater and i hope that you have a wonderful day bye